Hey guys, so today I'm here with my February book haul. You don't even want to know how many books I got. Like, my pile is like, like, let's see, I'll show ya. That is my pile of books on my desk. It's ridiculous. So I'm not sure if this is my biggest book haul, but it's gonna be close. I counted, it's not my biggest, I've only got 23. My December one was like 30. But it's still a lot, so let's get right into it because I filmed this once and it was 20 minutes and I'm not doing that again. So, the first book I have is Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Um, I wanted to get the Diviners, but it was huge. And what I know about this book is it's about, like, um, contestants like Miss America, but like teenagers. And it's almost like Lord of the Flies, but girly. Yeah, so like, um, they get trapped on the island and they need to like, learn how to survive, but they're like beauty queens, so that's going to be kind of hard. I'm very excited to read this one. It sounds very, very good. The next one might look kind of familiar because it's Halo by Alexandra Adonetto. And yes, I bought the second one, Hades, or Hades, by accident the last time I went to Chapters, I think. So I bought the first one, and they're pretty big, and I know it's about angels, but that's about all I know about this series. I'm trying to go through this as fast as I can. So the next one is Beastly by Alex Flynn, but by accident I picked up the deluxe edition version, which means that it's got, like, um, parts of the girl's diary in it. I haven't seen the movie, but I know, I think it's like Beauty and the Beast retelling. I'm not sure, but I'm very excited to read it. I've heard very good things about it, and it's on my big book challenge, so that's exciting. The next book I got is very popular right now, and that is Legend by Marie Lu, and I think there's a sequel coming out called Prodigy, um, and yeah, it's shorter than I thought. Um, I don't know what it's about, but I know a lot of people are reading it, and it's got a very shiny cover, so I'm very excited to read this, and it should go by pretty quickly. The next one I got, I got because it was like $5.99. Um, most of these books were actually like bargain books, um, but it's Ruby Red by Kristen, Kristen Gear. I think there's a sequel called Sapphire Blue, and I know they were originally in a different language, and it got translated to English. So, I know it's about like a teenager, and I think the cover's just very pretty, so. Then I got a trilogy that I'm, whoa, that got very bright. Then I got a trilogy that I'm very excited for, and that is the Matched Trilogy. Um... I got all three books at once because I can't read a series unless I have all the books in the series. So, I got Matched by Ali Condi. Re Crossed is the second one. And then Reached is the third one. And I think these covers are really cool. And I don't know much about what they're about except that they are YA. So, the next book I got, I don't know much about, but it sounds really cool. And it's about a girl that kills people. And I think it's written in the perspective of a boy this time. So it's Anna Just in Blood by Kendare Blake. And what's cool about this book is the font, if you can see that, is written in red. So I think that's pretty cool and it sounds really interesting and it's pretty short, so I'm excited. The next one I got because my mom picked up and I'm like, hmm, that's okay. Um, and it's Mini Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. Um, I've read the first two Shopaholic books, and I know this is, like, in the series, so I hope you don't have to read the rest of the series before you can read this one. Um, so yeah, there's not much I know about this one, so there's not much I'm going to say about it. And I don't know if I'm even going to read it. The next one I got, I got because they're remaking the movie, and I need to read six classics in a month. Well, I don't need to, but I want to. So I got The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And I've read this before... And I really enjoyed it, so I wanted to own a copy, and I wanted to be able to reread it. And, yeah, so I'm very excited, and I'll probably be reading that this month. The next book I finally, finally got, because everybody's been talking about it, and I think they're making a TV show about it. I'm not sure. I don't even think I get the channel anyway. But it's The Selection by Kira Cass. And I know this is about a group of girls that, like, go into, like, training or, like, competitions to, like, be the princess and like won the princess heart or something. I'm not really sure, but everybody just says it's such a good book. So, the next book I got I know nothing about, but it was cheap and there's a sequel, but I'm not getting a sequel till I know if I like this one. So it's Eve by Anna Carey. Um, I think it's like post-apocalyptic, but I'm just guess guessing, uh, guessing that off of the cover. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know, but I'll do a review on all of these books for sure. So The next one I got is bigger than I thought, and I got it because I have three other books by him. And I've heard good things about this one, and it was just so much bigger than I thought it was. So I got Partials by Dan Wells, and yeah, it's... I thought it was like little, but it's like, yeah. So I know it's about like going into a battle or a war with people that are only partially human. Partials. Yeah. So I know it's YA. I think it's dystopian. I'm not sure. And at the top it says the only hope for humanity is in human. So that just sounded really intriguing and I'm very interested to read this. The next book I got is also very raved about but I know nothing about it. So it's Defiance by CJ Redwine. Guys, I have no idea what this is about. At all. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to move on to the next one. I got Tempest by Julie Cross. And I know this is about time travel, and it's a YA time travel, which I think sounds really, really cool. And on the back is what really intrigued me, and it says, Today, Jackson and Holly are in love. Tomorrow, she will lie dying in his arms. Yesterday, he must undo it all. So it sounds very interesting. I'm hoping it's not too love story, but based on the cover, it might be. But I'm very excited. The next book I got, I got because I wanted something nice and fluffy and light to read. So I got 10 things we did and probably shouldn't have, but I'm... Sarah Milanowski. Um, I've heard some things about this book, but not many. And I know it's just like about um, some things that these teenagers do that they shouldn't have, like harboring a fugitive, um, lying to their parents, buying a hot tub, skipping school, um, just different things. So I think it'll just be something nice and fun to read. The next one I got, I think it's like the fourth book in a series, but it was like a bargain book, so it was like four or five, nine, and nine. For hardcover so I had to get it because I plan on reading the series anyway so that is Play by Michael Grant and I know it's not the first second or probably even third book in the series but I know this series is about um like teenagers or kids that they wake up one day and all the adults are gone so I think that's why the first book is called Gone and I know there's the sixth book coming out this year I think so I'm excited to get on this and catch up with this series. Five left. The next one isn't the first book or the second book. I think it's like the eighth book in a series, but it was like $5.99, and I plan on reading them anyway because I watched the TV show. So it's Wanted by Sarah Shepard, and yes, it is a Pretty Little Liars book. Um, I used to watch the show, and then I stopped, but I don't know why, but I was really enjoying it. So I want to start reading the books, and they're short, so I plan on getting the rest of them, even though I think there's like 12, but I'm going to do it. The next book I got, I got because of what it said on the cover. So it's Bleeding Violet by Dia Revis Reeves. And what it says on the top is crazy, never looks so beautiful. So I saw that and I was like, and it's a big book and big books intrigue me. So I just saw it and I was like, okay, that looks pretty funny. So I had to get it. The next book I got, I got because it's not really like a fun kind of book. It's more for like um, expanding my knowledge and I don't know. It's Titanic. It says, The Tragic Story of the Ill-Fated Ocean Liner by Rupert, Rupert Matthews. Um, so it just, like, talks about it. It's not like the movie where it talks about, like, Jack and Rose. Please tell me her name was Rose. I don't remember. Oh, my goodness. Um, I think it's, like, the actual, like, making of the ship, the actual, like, facts about it. So I'm very interested to see and, like, know more about what actually happened. The next one is another one my mom picked up, but it sounds interesting. So it's I'll Be There by Holly Goldberg Sloan. I know it's about three people. One guy who wants to leave, like run away, because he's like in a very not good home, like abusive and stuff with his father, but he doesn't leave because of his brother. But his brother wants to leave, but he doesn't because of a girl he met, and I don't know what's going on with this girl, but yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds okay, but it might take me a while to read it. And the last one is Hereafter by Tara Hudson. Don't know much about what it's about, but I wanted to save the best for last, I think, because I'm most excited, and I know it's about ghosts, in case you can tell by the cover. So, hopefully that wasn't too long. I was trying to get through it as fast as I could because I had so many books. Um, but, yeah, I hope I'm reading a lot more, so thank you for watching my haul. Let me know if you know anything about any of these books, and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye.